And with this problem, there's a lot going on, but we're told that this angle here, FED, this is 80 degrees. This angle here, DEB is 20. And we need to find this angle here, which is really composed of AEC and CEG. So finding this angle X, it looks like we want to use the ideas of vertical angles. So let's remind ourselves what a vertical angle is or what vertical angles are. So if we have two intersecting lines, remember that the angles opposite each other are equal. So if we label these one, two, three, and four, we know that angle one and angle three, those are vertical angles. And likewise, angle four and angle two, those are also vertical angles. So whenever you have these vertical angles, angles that are opposite each other, they are gonna be equal. So let's use that information here. Since we do have intersecting lines, we have a couple pairs of them, and we can figure out these vertical angles. So notice we have this angle 80 degrees here, this FED. So if we continue those lines, we can figure out the vertical angle to angle 80, or this 80 degree angle. Notice that the one across from it would be angle CEG. So this angle CEG, this is a vertical angle to this 80 degree angle. So this right here would also be 80 degrees. And likewise, looking at this angle here, DEB, it has a vertical angle since just imagine these lines continuing and then you can look straight across. So this angle AEC is a vertical angle to DEB. So that means it's also 20 degrees. So this right here is 20. And it looks like X is the sum of both this angle and this angle. So X is those two angles added together. So angle X then is just 20 degrees plus 80 degrees or it's 100 degrees. And that should make sense because we can compare other vertical angles here. Notice that if we focus on these intersecting lines that we have vertical angles here and here. So these across from each other, these are gonna be equal to each other. So this big angle here is just 80 plus 20. This is 100. And of course, we just found that this angle here is also 100 degrees. So that's another way to look at these intersecting lines to find vertical angles. So let's do one more of these example problems. And in this one, it looks like we're trying to find this X degree angle. This is angle C, G, E. And we're told that A, G, F is 73 degrees. And we're also told that this right here is a right angle. So C, G, A is a right angle. And what we can notice is that this angle here plus this right angle plus this X degree angle if we combine all these together, we get the angle of a straight line. So FGE, it looks like, is a straight line. And we know the angle of a straight line is 180 degrees. So we can set up an equation now, since, again, we know this is just a 90 degree angle, where we have that this one plus this one plus this one is equal to 180. So let's set that up. We have the green angle, the 73 degree angle, plus that right angle, which is 90 degrees, plus the blue angle, which is our missing angle, that's angle X. When we add these together, we get 180. So let's simplify this, let's combine like terms. So 90 plus 70 is 160, adding three more, we get 163. And then we'll add angle X to that, and we know this is 180 degrees. And we can subtract 163 degrees on each side here so that we can find X. We can get that by itself. So angle X, well, if we take away 160, that brings us to 20. Taking away three more brings us to 17. So it looks like 17 degrees would be our final answer. And another way to look at that is knowing that the total angle is 180 and this is a 90 degree angle, so we can subtract that away. 
We could also say that these have to add up to 90. Or in other words, angle X and this 73 degree angle, this green one, these are complementary to each other. So they're gonna add up to 90 degrees. We could have set up that equation, saying that X or angle X plus 73 is 90, but again, you would find 17 degrees. So that's just another way to look at these. Complementary angles don't have to be next to each other. They just have to add up to 90 degrees. It's just that they're often next to each other. And just to see a little bit more, since this is 90 and this forms the other angle of a line, we know that this angle right here is 90 degrees. And we also know this missing angle because that is vertical to this green angle. So I'll color this in green here because notice we have intersecting lines and these two angles are opposite each other. So that means this is 73 degrees. So this is just another way to see that these two angles are complementary. It's just now they are in fact next to each other.